What's up, everybody? This is your boy James. Your boy RJ. You are now tuning in to Countdown TV. As you know, we did my sneaker collection in my closet. So now we're going to do RJ's sneaker collection here in his closet. It's a little series of what's in your closet. So we're going to get into a sneaker collection, see what he has. Are you going to do your wife's and Yeah, we'll, throw, we'll throw my wife's uh, sneaker collection in there too. Uh, and a few of my daughters, you know, because I don't have half as much as what James has. Because, you know, James is rich. He's got diamonds on his neck. How? But, I mean... Regardless, Countdown's taking care of us. As he mentioned in the last video, we had to part ways with a lot of things initially to start the business, but now, you know, Countdown's starting to come up a little bit, just a little bit, and yeah, Countdown's blessing us. So let's see what's in our closet. Cool peeps, first things first, like James started. Got the cowboy boots in the collection, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm rocking my foam runners. James claims that they're not comfortable. I do not agree with that. These are actually some of the most comfortable shoes on earth. Granted, if you wear them to Disney World and you wear them for like longer than three hours, four hours, your Achilles starts to get you a blister if you're not wearing high socks, so be careful. Um, I guess we could start with what's opened up. San Antonio's first up. San Antonio's highest seller shoe, I guess the entire nation. Black and white dunks. Um, I'm not so big with OCD like James is. I have things like everywhere, so there's no specific order I'm going in. I'm just gonna go right off the bat. Another top seller lately. The military black Air Jordan 4. I like the shoe a lot. Um, definitely something I plan to bust out very soon. Um, it is dead stock. I do wear a lot of my shoes, so you won't see too many uh, dead stock pairs in my collection just because um, I'm just the type of person to almost wear everything like James is. Here we got the bread ones, the bread ones. I came up on these about almost two years ago. I only paid about $400 for them. I bought them pre owned, but they're still in very very good condition and yeah so we got the bread ones the bread ones the 2016 i just picked these up recently from one of our consigners in shop he was selling them on his instagram page i was like yo i need these this is a shoe that i've always liked and i said to myself one day i'll have and these are the storm blue air jordan ones very very slept on i think at once upon a time this thing was reselling for what like a g mm -hmm. right I bought it for like 400 bucks as well not a, not a bad pickup. Another one of my favorites. I just parted ways with one of these, but I do like the Fear of God ones, right? Is that the record? Fear of God ones? Mm -hmm. You parted away with the triple blacks. The triple blacks, right? yeah. Dude, it's mad hot in my closet. I didn't realize how hot it was in here. But All the heat in here. Yeah, all the, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> but I do like these. This is the bone colorway. Um, I don't wear them as often. I'm waiting for fall to come back around because, you know, in Texas, everyone's in, in shorts all the time. And these do not look the best for shorts. I tried to do it one time and James got mad at me. I was just like, I'm never doing it again. Yeah, I said, no, no. <laughs> you wear those with pants. Yeah. I got the UNC Dunk. Um, another one of our, uh, our dudes on the crew, Luis, he's got the Coast Dunk. I wish I had those before I had these, but I'll settle for these because the Coast and these are worth a lot of money now. So... I'll settle for the UNC Dunk. I do like it a lot. I have a bunch of UNC colored shoes and I always contemplate whether undead stocking a new one or not, but I just keep on wearing those dunks. Peasy, Trip White, Cream, White, whatever they're called. What are these called? Cream. Cream, see what I mean? There's like 10 different names for these, but they're beat. I might start wearing these to the gym. Yeah. Yeah, that should be a gym shoe. Show them the bottom. Yeah, they're cooked. <laughs> these things are cooked these look like the naturals <laughs> but yep that's a easy i don't have too many yeezys but you always have to have this easy convince james to buy this too because i told him this is an essential for the collection the wave runner and uh, yeah even this one's starting to get some good wear and tear into it so love the wave runners one of my favorite yeezys probably one of the top fives in my in my opinion, that he's ever made, at least with Adidas. And then I too have the Rick and Morty, my hooping shoe. I've hooped them one time. They're not the the most comfortable shoes to hoop in, right? Mm -mm, I yeah. don't like them. We tried. I just wear them for like casual use nowadays, but even then, what can you wear with these? I guess that's the point, but that's neither here nor there. It's like the what the Kobe's, but the what the Kobe's are fire. I have a couple of shoes that are like that. like. The left and rights are kind of different, but then I got these Gucci loafers that I barely ever wear. Are these called loafers? I don't think they're called loafers, right? Yeah. Would you call these a loafer? Mm, I don't know. They're like Vans, right? But 
I don't know. Shout out fat. And then like the ones on my feet, I got the foam runner that my daughter decided to bedazzle and throw some of her little croc things on. So those of y'all that start putting the croc little figurines on your foam runners, my daughter did it first. <laughs> In the very bottom, should be at the very top, but these are my wedding shoes. Aww. Yeah, aww. But yeah, I always kept them. Yeah, the most uncomfortable things in, in planet Earth. I wanted to get married in Space Jams, but she didn't let me. But yeah, sacrifice being a married man. Now look at her, she's a sneakerhead. Yeah, for real. All fast of a sudden. Forward, fast forward seven years later, I'm sure she would have been mad okay with it now, knowing what's in the collection. But All of a sudden, Brie. All of a sudden. Could have even got married in these, the off-white Presto Black. They're not the OGs, but it's the closest to me. I do love this shoe. I do wear this shoe pretty often. Bro, you got married, what, six years ago, seven years ago? Seven years ago. Those weren't out yet. Still, <laughs> something better than those. Although, you know what I mean? I'm not the type of person to wear dressing shoes like that. Cool, there's nothing in here because I've got these on my feet. That's what the foam runners would be. Here at the very bottom, not gonna lie, these are a hard wear for me. They're not a hard wear for a lot of people, but for me, for whatever reason, I could, cannot find things to wear with these. These are dusty olive dunk lows. I may or may not get rid of these soon, but I don't know. Maybe a good trade. And we got those for the cheapy cheapy. Yeah, we got them that cheap. Um, this whenever James and I first became business partners, I got that one. Oh, we bought it and you wanted it. Yeah. These are an ID, so I kind of put my name on it. I don't know if you want to get a zoom in of that. Got my name, RJ, with the A-R-E, J-A-Y. And my last name, the year I was born. There's something unique about the shoe. Um, they're gum bottoms. I'm very particular on gum bottom shoes, and I felt like this one flowed. But yeah, it's a Nike ID. I wish I had the Concord still, but I'll settle for just having the Bread 11s. I do bust these out occasionally. They don't get too, too many wears in, but I do love the, bre uh, the Space Jam 11s. This is the 45 edition. Back in the day, I did have the 2009 with the 23, but those things yellow um, harder than tamales do, you know what I mean? So, speaking of that era 2013 days i remember these that was like a thousand dollar shoe back in the yeah, day. yeah the south beach eights and i used to have the set with the nines back then too and i thought it was the coolest person ever but now these things barely push for what 200 bucks 300 bucks like under retail exactly but i love this shoe just because of the history and everything in between back then how much people wanted it and now i have it so it's pretty neat just like the KD Galaxies, that whole pack. The Big Bangs, KD Galaxy, um, the, the ASG Kobe's. Kobe's. Yep, that was that was a time. What a time to be alive. Basketball era. Yep. I just got these around Easter time frame this year. Big fan. Hard wears, but big fan of the concept. Um, Air Max. It's a dope like, shoe. I like the purple bandana. Gives me that Travis vibe. Cause I'll never afford the Travis SBs. You know what I mean? Got these as well. Retail scoop. I was like, why not keep it? Um, Luis can say this is one of the hot sellers back when Dunk started to make their their hit. The orange pearl Dunk Low. Um, this is a woman sizing shoe, so to find it in men's sizes was kind of hard, but not impossible, obviously. And then you jump down to one of my probably top five shoes ever. This is the white cement Air Jordan Four. Um, pristine condition for being used. You know what I mean? I wear this shoe every once in a while and usually the netting starts to yellow but I try to take care of these as much as possible and yeah I love the shoe white cement fours I remember this shoe for a later a later shoe I got too I need those and the other shoe that we're gonna talk about <laughs> I don't know about all that these are my rain <laughs> shoes every once in a while when it's raining I'll bust these out those bands yeah I, didn't, I forgot I had these but yeah, how do you get dust in there because you haven't worn them it's been a while Another one of my hooping shoes. I like them. LeBron, what, 15s or something like that? I don't know. It's a hooping shoe. It's in the collection. It's a LeBron. Another beater, but it's black, so you can't tell it's a beater. It's the black static um, Easy 350 V2s. Just like my cream whites, I, I thought to myself, if I'm having any 350s, I just want a white one and a black one. So I got the all black one, all white one. I barely even wear them. But, yep, back to the pirate days. I hear the pirates are restocking next year, right? Mm -hmm. The V1s. So I'm looking forward to that. Sad, sad. Shadow 2.0s. Um, the reason I don't have the 1.0s, I sold them to a homie called, uh, his name is Robert. Shout out to Robert. The only reason I sold them, they were size 11, so I was like forcing myself to wear them. Madrano? Madrano, yeah. But Robert gave me a few things that are still in my collection that I'm sure he's kind of 
hating that I, that I have. And I think you too. That's who, I, that's who I got them from, just so you know. Believe it or not, I have a blazer in my collection. But the reason I like this blazer is the Area 72 vibes, and I just, I I've dig this. I've never seen you wear that shoe. I, I'm not, I don't want to wear it. I just like it because it does this, bro. Sophie comes in here sometimes just to do this to the shoe. Hold on. It's pretty crazy. Sean? You could have it like yellow or flip it back the other way and have it green. I thought it was sick. Got it for retail. Can't beat that. Never wear it. Yeah, I've never seen you wear that shoe. This is another one I barely bust out. Probably because it's deep in this corner and I forget about it. The Michigan State Spartan Dunk Low. Classic colorway. Saw it after like crazy right now. This one too. This is another classic from back in the day. I've always loved this shoe. I've always like, just like the colors, the everything about it. You know, it's the typical Dallas Cowboy shoe. Dallas Cowboy fan shoe, I should say. That's the Dallas Cowboy starter pack. Yeah, all we're missing is uh, the shorts and a jersey, right? Mm -hmm. The jean the shorts. The Dicky, no, the they say the brown ones, the Dicky brown shorts, or sometimes the the, the blue Jean, shorts. The John Cena shorts. Yeah. The jorts. Well, I just broke a clip. Shout out Container Store for building the stupidest freaking clips known to man for these things. <laughs> so yeah, that's why some of them are missing that. So they need to come up with a better system. I barely wear these too because I'm not the biggest Converse fan. Oh, they're fire. They're the CDG Chuck Taylors. These things are cooked. I think from the last time we finally decided to do something during the nightlife, I decided to wear these and they got cooked. These just remind me of my grandfather. They're cooked Air Max, but that's the way that I remember seeing his. They're always cooked like this. Those and are the barbecue 3000s? Yeah, for sure. The cookout 2000s. R.I.P. That's my dedication to him. Speaking of 13s, here's another one. Barely bust out. Um, all I remember <laughs> with the Brett 13 is being in the San Marcos outlets inside of Michael Kors. My daughter was just born, right? Tell me why my daughter was like the exorcist. Projectile vomiting straight like out and it just splatted all over the inside of this. So yeah, I didn't have Rejuvenator at the time. So shout out Rejuvenator, but I needed you back then. And selfie is because of you. I barely wear these. I get disgusted when I see them. Next one up, Lightning 4. If you're wondering who I'm looking at over here, Luis is here with us too. So shout out Luis. Luis, come on here so you can talk to you. What up? <laughs> Lightning 4s. I like this shoe a lot. I remember when this shoe was like thousands of dollars, but now, you know, GR nowadays. But definitely love it. Were they suede back then? Or was back then, I think Nubuck. it was the actual suede. Right? This is Nubuck now, so it's a little more cheaper, and I feel like I get this mad dirty real quick. But new, uh, suede, a um, little more softer, more buttery, you know? So, I miss, I miss the old, the old fours. And of course, I got the Mocha's, another retail lick. Back in the day when Luis was my plug, and was looking out for me, and letting me know about drops and stuff. Love the Mocha ones. Made a lot of money on the Mocha one. I wear the Mocha one, but I used to wear my Travis ones a lot more than I, even my Mocha ones. I know it should be the other way around to beat up a, a GR before you do a, a Grail like that, but that's neither here nor there. I got a new repair. Speaking of Travis, the Travis broke, so I did the lace swap on these. You may agree or disagree with the lace swap. I feel like the lace swap allows it to be a better wear because before that, I have a tough time putting the sail color together with, and I seem to have a lot of sail for some reason. But we'll speak about these a little later about um, the top five things we're going to be talking about, I guess. This is another one of those I love, and the reason I didn't care for the Shadow 1.0s because I had the Rebellion Airs and the 2.0s. I'm not going to have the entire Shadow collection. I'm not like James wanting to fulfill sets and all that, but I do love the Rebellion Air. I love the history and the story behind it. This is basically the band 2.0, in my opinion. Um, with the band X in the back and everything in between so love this shoe love the vibe of it the white laces are the move and yeah here's some SB action I do have the green toe I remember in James's video we're talking about him having the blue toe on his these are the what the paw Nike SB kind of cooked but we've had them for a minute um, I think I paid around 700 bucks back in the day during like when they first came out I think markets around there now but Regardless, I love them. I rock them. One of my favorites in my collection. Next one up, one of my favorites in the collection is the Shattered Backboard 2.0. They have the dope insole. I don't know if you can see it from there. Of the Shattered Backboard on the inside. Um, one of these days I'll have the 1.0, but I think the yellow toes are coming out. And I think I might just settle for a yellow toe because, in Taxis. my opinion, 
Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Taxis. They uh, look very, very similar. We have them in shop. Go shop. Available, available in shop now. Then I have these SBs bars. These are called the Street Hawker. Um, I like it. Love it. I want some more of it. I change out the laces here and there just to do something different with them each and every time. But the details on these things are pretty crazy. Um, just like the lavender hits on the heel, the copper toe box, and this exaggerated suede, whatever you want to call it here on the toe. Very high quality. Brake necks. People are like, are you wearing two different shoes? I'm like, no, it's the Street Hawker SB. Know your shoes, people. Love them. Jumping back to another Jordan 1. These things are cooked, but I do wear these a lot. And these are like my dailies type of thing. I almost wear these like once or twice a week sometimes. Obsidian ones. Funny story about the Obsidian ones. I made a pretty good check off the Obsidian ones because I, on prior service, have base access, go get on the military base. And let's just say a certain BX in town had the Obsidian sitting, and I cooked about 14, 15 pairs for retail. Should have sold them or should have helped them a little bit longer, but I made the quick flip and I still made some good money. Not as much as I would have today, obviously, but yeah, that's the Obsidian one. Have the Amo ones. Love the shoe a lot too. The crack leather. Burgundy hits all the way around. The quilted interiors. I'm a big fan of what Amo Manier does. I do have another Amo Manier in my collection. We'll be talking about very, very soon. James's favorite shoe of all time. The Royal Toe one. He claims he had like a hundred pairs of these. Um, I haven't seen evidence of that, but no, I'm check my kidding. Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I remember selling you like what, like a, like a three piece back in the day. No, probably waxed you too on that. But probably. here's the Royal Toe ones. I haven't worn those in a while. My favorite of the twos, the Gray Fog, the Gray Fog, right? Yeah. Gray Fog Union twos. Um, I, I appreciate Jordan 2s. So I've never had one in my collection. If I did, it would have been the Chicago from the Countdown Pack. Not the DBs? The DBs are okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the DB 2s, but I do like the OG Chicago. Not even the lows, like the high top Chicago 2s. I like those a lot. Um, there's this picture I had in middle school in my little wallpaper in computer class. It was Jordan doing the cradle dunk. He was wearing the Chicago 2s. That's something I will always remember. And then another Travis Scott action. The Fragment Low Travis Scott. I hit these for retail, but I stupidly purchased a 10 and a half women's, came in a nine men's, so I had to flip that one to get my size eventually. Um, certain bridge was burned during that process. You know who you are if you're watching, or lurking, I should say. So, <laughs> here is another Travi. Should bust this out more often. I love this shoe. Gives it that military vibe, something I did seven years of, but has that fraying on the tongue cargo type of vibe with the olive and of course they glow in the dark too um travis six i like the details on this shoe a lot i like this one a lot more than i do the khakis the khakis is a harder wear mm -hmm. very hard like these two these are a hard wear the off-white sales i wish i had the gray ones like jane has but i'll settle for these i just threw the red lace on one of them just to make them pop a little bit bring out some more reds um but yeah, I like the shoe a lot. I've had them way before Virgil's passing, RIP Virgil. And this shoe kind of went up, do, uh, doubled the numbers like most of his other shoes did um, after his passing. But I always have this battle. Which one to bring out first? I'm sure a lot of you that have both of these always do this. I don't know which one to undead stock first. But yeah. if I had to choose, yeah, these. I think I'm with the Hyper Royals. I, I, I like the shoe a lot, but I see what they do after wearing them. Show Luis the shoe real quick. Those things are cooked. These things at least have like a vintage vibe to them, and I feel like when they get dirty or, or some wear into them, they'll look, they don't look that, like half bad. Almost like that turbo. You know, a beat turbo still looks fresh. No, it doesn't. No? That's I mean, in I my sold. opinion, it's one of those shoes that a lot of vintage has with rock. That's so. why I sold my turbos. Really? Shout out Lee Jokes buying all my used shoes. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did come through initially too for us. So... Yeah, I got the UNC's and the Hyper Royals, both dead stock. But anytime I feel like wanting to undead stock one of these, I bust out these because they're the happy medium, in my opinion, for both of them. The UNC 4s. Um, I wear these kind of often. But like I said, anytime I feel like wearing UNC, and I have a bunch of UNC like type of vibe clothing, baby blue, I should say. And this is the UNC Jordan 4, another one of my faves. Um, most uncomfortable shoe, in my opinion, as well. 
I don't know why. All my other fours don't. Like Larry from Private Selection would say, a pinky toe no-no, but that one is one of them. Just picked up these. I see James rocking them all the time, and I love them. I should have had these a long time ago. I sold them several times, and I never kept me a personal pair. And then by then, the prices are plus $400, and then got a good price coming through through the shop and I was just like yo I'm gonna keep this one because this is a grail for a lot of people and it's one of those essentials in a collection like ours and black and red no bread Jordan 4 are you ever gonna wear them yeah yeah I'm, I'll wear them my wife has a pair too I think we'll end up stock them together I got them for her for her birthday speaking of Alma Manure earlier this is the other one I, I mentioned that I had Alma Manure threes I undead stock these for homie holding the cameras graduation last year Right, so shout out to James graduating, getting his education, you know what I'm saying? I undead stocked these. I walked the whole six blocks parking at the Alamo Dome just to go see this fool walk the stage, but not just, but you know what I mean. I'm a threes. Love them. But home, homeboy behind the camera really wants these. These are my prized possessions, my babies. I'm just going to rob you one day. And these are the free throw line. Air Jordan 3s. Um, back then, I used to have the 88s. And for those old heads back in the day that know what the 88s are, they're basically a Jordan 3 with the regular bottoms, but they had the Nike Air in the back. And I hear next year they're supposed to do a reimagine. And I might cop those just so I can keep these on ice and never wear these and rock the heck out of the reimagines. But this is one of my, uh, my things. I have a picture in my garage. Hopefully at our next shop, I'll frame up a little painting I did in like the seventh grade and put it out there. But um, yeah, I just love the Jordan 3, Jordan's free throw line dump. Um, just one of those motivational things in any basketball player journey. And yeah, I'm thick with two C's now. Your boy used to play basketball. And I used to get up and down, dude, and uh, have a nice little jump shot. But now I can barely even keep up with James. Cause he's still skinny and hasn't had a kid yet, but he'll see. He'll, he'll tack a few pounds, uh, a few pounds on him. But I already did. <laughs> I got the Travis Scott Air Jordan ones. Um, funny story how these came through. I used to have a cooked pair. Me and James sold our beat pairs and two nicer pairs. All uh, not so nice pairs, I should say. Is that well, caca? No, it's gum. Oh, that caca. Gotta hit it with some rejuvenator. <laughs> Two decent pairs came through the shop, so James and I upgraded our Travis and sold our beat Travis. Yours were cooked too, as much as mine's were cooked. And we, we got new pairs, basically. And mine were a size 11. Oh, yours were an 11? Mm-hmm. And you know how he is with his sizes, even. Me, I'm a 10, 10 and a half. Certain shoes, I, I wear 10 and a half, primarily a 10. Um, James looked out for me getting these on a trade for him and sold these to me for a homie price. And um, yeah, I got the Tope Union Jordan 4s. The only uh, Union Jordan 4 in my collection. Probably my favorite. I hit the Guavas for retail and I sold them and that's probably one of my regrets. Um, I should have kept the Guavas. They're very nice, but I settled for the Union uh, Topes. And last but not least, RIP to the GOAT. Runner up, I should say. But the next best to MJ, if not right there with him, the Kobe Grinch. Love this shoe. I want the Mambasitas just to collect with this one. I'll probably never wear this one um, unless they restock it or something. And I know it's just a sneakerhead hating me, but I want to put this. It. This was the restock pair, but the uh, like in general, like if they do it again anytime soon, oh. I might just wear these before everybody and their mama bust them out. But yeah, that's my sneaker collection in a nutshell. A little bit of my wife's collection. She has the. Royal Toes, like James was collecting a million of apparently. Strawberry Dunks. Um, every time we get these in shop, they sell right away too. It's just a very popular colorway. She's, I don't want to call her stupid, but these are freaking hideous. Mm -hmm. And she paid $500 for them retail. Beat. They come beat. I don't know what's up with that. I'd rather buy a pair of like... Golden, those are golden gooses. Go right? Golden gooses, yeah, but I would rather buy another pair of Jordan 1s or something for $500 before I bought this thing. I've never even seen her wear those. Exactly. That's another thing. Don't get me started. She has the red foam runners. The vermilion, I'm sorry. She has the wave runners that she wears on them almost a daily. Every, it's like her second pair of them. She cooks them all the time. And then she has these weird things. I guess all the kids are into it now, too. Yeah, what are these? What are those? Yeah, exactly. Doc Martins. She has the statics. 
Um, another uh, infamous shop sold her these and kind of waxed us. But we're supporting, unlike them nowadays, you know what I mean? She too has these on ice with me. Is the Hyper Royal Jordan 1s. She rocks these on the daily, or every so often, I should say, the Orange Pearl Dunks. Like the ones I mentioned are hard to come across in men's sizes. We had uh, pretty much my daughter and her and myself all had a pair at once. And then I found these um, during my early reselling days. Homie hooked it up for a good price. I told her, I told him it was for my wife. And I wish I had a pair of these, but these are the Gamma 11s. It's a beautiful shoe. 2013 vibes. And I even looked out and got her these initially at the drop. She's had them ever since, since retail. I should have kept my pair too. Sold them to my cousin. It's all good. Stayed in the family. Then she has the, these aren't the gray, the gray fogs, but what do they call it in women's? Photon. It's photon. These are the photon dunks. I like those better than the gray fogs, personally. Shout out to the toe. His girl sold my girl. Oh, well, sold me to get my girl these bread toe lows, or bread toes, I'm sorry. She was sipping gum or something herself. But yeah, these are fire. I wish I had a pair of these. And because she doesn't have the Shatter Backboard 2.0s with me, she settled and got the Starfish. Barely wears them, but she has them. There's a lot of other shoes in here. Shout out Countdown. They blessed her. Her birthday was a couple weeks ago. Got her the recent restock in the Turtle Doves. And then shout out Texas Soulmates, allowing us to help lock her in on her Grail, the Off-White Jordan 4. This shoe alone is worth more than a lot of my shoes combined. She had more heat than me. Got her the vintage um, green dunk lows. She also has the bread V2s. She wears these pretty often too. All right, let's switch it around. We're almost done, two more rows to go. She has San Antonio's favorite right there on the floor. Cooked, but yeah, San Antonio's favorite. She also has the mochas. I got her, her pair for retail as well. And recently, my gift to her for her birthday was the Bread Force. Got a good price online. Some, some dude was randomly selling it. It was her size. I couldn't pass it up. I got it for her. And she too has the UNCs on ice. Like the Golden Gooses. She paid an arm and a leg for these back in the day and never wears them. A pair of Gucci's. She's not rich. A, she's a hype beast. And then like me, her creams are cooked. Like real cook. I tried I cleaned these like six times in the life of this shoe and they still cook. And then this is when Luis was hooking me up. <laughs> Every time I see this shoe, it reminds me of Luis low key. The Dutch green Air Jordan 1 mid. I oh, saw a lot of those. Yeah, this, this shoe doesn't even I mean it's a nice shoe, but it's it skyrocketed got, too. It's worth a lot of money right now. Check your favorite market. It's worth a check, bro. And then she has a shadow 2.0s over here, some slides, the CDG tucks too. Yeah, this chick got me broke, dude. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's the collection, yo. Well, there you go, guys. We're gonna end it off in a little banger, no pun intended. We're gonna end it off with Sophie's pair. They grabbed these for her. One of our consigners. Shout out to Kai. Yeah, one of our consigners came in, hooked them up with a good price. She's already cooking these too, man, but. Yeah, I'm glad I could show y'all my collection. I know a lot of you were asking. Um, hopefully we could show Luis's collection. I don't know, we'll see he's very secretive about who he is and how he lives, but we'll see. Well, we'll uh, do a house tour with Luis. If not, I mean, tap in. If you know us, you're one of our friends, tap in with us. Maybe we could show your collection. You have something or two to, to brag and show the people. It doesn't have to be any heat, but as long as you got a collection, we yeah. can do a series for this. So For sure, for sure. So yeah, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're just watching. I know there's a lot of you that watch that are not subscribed to the channel. Please, 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 we're on that road to 1K. Hit that little subscribe button at the very bottom. It means a lot. Yeah, it means a lot. We appreciate you. Follow us on all platforms. And uh, yeah, thank you for rocking Instagram, with, uh, TikTok. Oh, yeah, TikTok's bumping lately too. Facebook. Everything. Everything's been going viral, especially the TikTok. So yeah, we just to get hit, YouTube going. We just hit, what, 200K on a video on 200K TikTok? 200K views. I mean, some slight yeah. on a video. It means a lot to us. A lot of people, we ask customers in store, how'd you hear about us? Nine times out of ten, it's TikTok. So yeah. yeah. But shout out to all of you watching. Thank you for uh, tuning in, like we said. What way is it? It's the countdown way. The only way, baby. Peace.
Antonio has kids' shoes too. Fortnite move! Oh, do it again, do it again, do it again!